Hello everyone. Welcome to Royal Hotel Online Platform. We say thank you to all of our subscribers. And if you are just joining us for the first time or if you don't subscribe, kindly click on the subscription button so that you can get notifications on our post new videos. Also, if you find this lesson informative, click on the like button. We also want your feedback through the topic. Thank you. Now, yeah, today we are going to be talking about number system. Number system. I'm going to be telling you a short story of the evolution, I mean, the short story about the evolution of numbers. All the numbers that we have, whether they are positive numbers, whether they are fractions, whether they are negative, whether they are decimals. Okay, so I'm going to be telling you the story of how it evolved right from the beginning. So, in the beginning, the number that came with human, they are the ones we call natural numbers. Natural numbers. Sometimes it is written like this. Natural numbers are the numbers that came with human beings. They are called natural numbers because we believe that they were created by God. Okay? And what are these numbers? Natural numbers are simply counting numbers. When you want to count, how do you count? Natural numbers. When you want to count, you count and start from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you continue like that. Because it has no head. You continue to count till you get to the end of what you are counting. So these numbers, you notice they don't have negative numbers, and as a matter of fact, there is no one of them. So natural numbers are known as counting numbers from one to infinity, positive infinity. So those ones are called natural numbers. Mathematicians in those days thought that this is enough for um, calculations in mathematics, and so they got to some equations like, like when you have x plus three is equal to two, when you have x plus three is equal to two. They tag this equation to be impossible because there is no negative. They do not have negative numbers and natural numbers. Until several decades after, when some set of mathematicians had to come together and say, okay, let us form a new number system that we call integers. They came together and they formed a new number system called integers. Please, sometimes you like this. They formed integers. Integers are Numbers that are positive, whole numbers. Whole numbers means that they are not decimal, they are not fractions. Numbers that are positive, negative, and then zero. Because if zero is the neutral number, we do not consider a zero to be a positive number or a negative number. It can behave as a two, so we take it as a neutral number. So integers. Integers are positive whole numbers, negative whole numbers, and zero. So you can write it as zero, plus or minus one, plus or minus two plus or minus 3, and you continue like that. So, every number you have a natural number, they are all positive. The negative of those numbers, we have them in integers. So, they were able to solve this equation in integers so that you can say that your x is equal to minus 1. Because they now know what minus 1 is. In the case of natural numbers, they did not, they did not know what minus 1 is because minus 1 is not existing in natural numbers. So, until a new number is with integers, was created, that was when they got to do what minus one is, and then they went to solve this equation. So they thought that at this they would be able to solve all questions until they came in contact with another question like this. A question like 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. If you solve this question, you won't have the answer in natural numbers, neither will you have the answer in integers because you are going to be getting a fraction. So they had to form another number system because this one cannot be stopped in integers. After several decades of writing, impossible, impossible, impossible. New mathematicians they came together and said, okay, let us form a new number system that will accommodate fractions. Okay? They, came up, I mean, they came about what we call rational numbers. Rational numbers. Rational numbers. Rational numbers in a simple language are numbers that you can put perfectly in a fraction. But if I want to divide it mathematically, I would say that natural numbers are numbers that when you convert them to decimals, you know, they, they can be whole numbers, they can be negative whole numbers, they can be possible numbers, but when they come as fraction, because you always have it as rational number, is always like a number over the other. So that your y is not equal to zero, and then your x and y, they are all coming from integers. So 
if I want to do it, I say that okay. Rational number in a simple language, they are fractions that when you convert them to decimal, they either repeat numbers or they terminate. What do I mean? When you check one over two, one over two is a fraction. One over two, when you convert it to decimal, you have zero point five. So one over two is a fraction, is a rational number in which when you convert it to decimal, it terminates. That is, you stop. It has an edge. But when you consider numbers like 1 over 3, when you convert 1 over 3 to decimal, you have 0 0.3, 3, 3, 3, and then the 3 continues. So 1 over 3 is also a rational number, just that the decimal part is reoccurring. We call them reoccurring decimals. So it is reoccurring. So these two numbers coming together, they form rational numbers. So in the quest of them seeking for rational numbers, it came about some numbers that when you convert them to decimal, they neither, they neither terminate nor reoccur. For example, pi. Pi is a number that does not terminate nor reoccur. You write pi as a fraction to give you numbers that they are not repeating themselves and then they are not uh, terminating. So it continues like that. Another one is square root of 2. Another is square root of 3. They are not repeating and then they are not terminating. So they now did something, they packed all these ones together to form irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. Don't forget, rational numbers are the ones that when you compile it to decimal, it's either they terminate or they will occur, just like these two examples. Why irrational numbers are the ones that they neither terminate nor reoccur. So if you take these two together, if you, if you take these two together, you now get a new number set for new number. So new number is the addition of rational numbers and irrational numbers. So if you add them together, you get new numbers. Okay? So we are going to be stopping here for the evolution of number systems. There are other number systems, but I will also I will always like to stop it because after the number we see our complex number, we see our set of polynomials. I will just have to stop. I want to stop it here so that we can understand. So let me just brief it again. Don't forget, natural numbers are counting numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that is infinity. Integers are negative whole number, positive whole number, and zero. Just like we have it here. Zero, then we have plus and minus. I plus or minus one. That is, that is minus one or is plus one. Plus or minus two, plus or minus three, like that. The rational numbers are numbers, they are fractions. No, you know, every whole number can be expressed as fraction. For example, 2 is, is, a, is a whole number. It's the same thing as 2 over 1, which is a fraction. Okay? So, rational numbers are fractions that when you change them to decimal, when you change them to decimal, they either terminate just like 1 over 3, or they reoccur just like 1 over 3. Why the rational numbers are the ones that when you change them to decimal, they do not terminate, neither do they reoccur. Just, just like 5, square root of 2, square root of 3. So, addition of these two together, when you take rational number and irrational numbers together, they form real numbers. So, don't forget to click on the substitution button because uh, you will need to watch the next video, which is going to be tracing rational numbers and irrational numbers because there is something that is a beauty that is in rational numbers and irrational numbers that we are going to be doing justice to in the next video. Don't forget to click on the substitution button, on the substitution button that you get notification when we post the video and also click on the like button. Thank you very much. See you next time.